What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be continuing with all four star photos and requests in new Pokemon Snap. Previously, we did the jungle in a much, much earlier episode, and that is the first half of Belisuvia. Now we're doing the second half of Belisuvia, including Trevenant, Esper, Shiftree, Kecleon, Deerling, Sawsbuck, Unthpheasant, Drampa, Pancham, Bulbasaur, Superior, Applin, Beware, Gardevoir, Ninetales, Lotad, Espeon, and Milotic. We already covered Celebi in the previous mythical slash legendary video, so you can refer back to that. I believe it was four episodes ago. It's in the playlist, and the playlist is down below in case you need that. Great. Now this forest is home to some unique patterns as far as how it goes and if you're on level one, keep playing, <laughs> if you're on level two you need to work up to level three. Don't even try any of this to level three, okay, because you're gonna get frustrated. Instead just go around take more photos. You might get some stuff but once you hit level three then this split at the beginning opens up and it's gonna open up due to this Trevenant playing a song. I'm gonna focus a little bit more on that. And you're gonna open up the last two seasons because otherwise you're just gonna have autumn and summer one. The summer one is for some reason bamboo. Also, once you're on level three, you could do something in this area with these crystal blooms to open up this area, which is called the sunny area. And that's gonna be needed for everything. And I'm gonna have some timestamps down below explaining these things in a little bit more detail. But just know that I really, really, really recommend waiting until level 3 to try any of this, okay? For the pathway split, you're going to be able to choose the season that you want to go to. This one with the bamboo is summer. This one with the cherry blossom trees is spring. This one with the uh, orange trees is autumn or fall. And then this one with all the snow is winter. This Espeon at the beginning is going to influence which direction you're going to go. It's going to, by default, be just standing right here where this Kecleon is, right? And if you feed it an apple, it is then going to bring you over to spring. And by feed, I mean you throw an apple to it. One, do not boop it. Two, do not let it get in the way of the cart. And three, do not take a photo of it. Just feed it apple, let it be, and then you're gonna see it run off this way. If it runs off this way, that lets you know that you did it properly, okay? And then you're gonna be going to the spring area. If you messed up somehow, it's going to run back toward the entrance and it'll let you know that that doesn't influence its pathing at all. Likewise, if you want to go to the summer course with all the bamboo, then all you have to do is for the Espeon at the beginning is throw one of the uh, aluminum orbs at it. And then once it's hit with the aluminum orb, it's gonna run off and it's gonna bring you to summer. If you wanna go to autumn, you have to do the alternate route, which I'm going to explain in a little bit, but it's essentially playing music for the Trevenant, hit the scan button, and then you could go this way. Then you're gonna see Espeon chilling right there. You can throw an apple at it, and again, do not boop it, do not get in the way of the cart, and do not try to take a photo of it, and then it is going to lead you to the autumn route, or you're gonna throw in aluminum orb, or sorry for the Brits out there, aluminium orb, and then it's going to bring you to the winter area. Simple as that, right? Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Okay, let's get on with the video. All right, so as soon as you start off on level three, by the way, you can boop this guy with an apple, and then he's gonna get out of your way forever, which is really nice, because otherwise they just, run really really slow and it's annoying come on get out of the way get out of the way go go scram shoo thanks if you look over here you just see a trevenant you want to play a song you're going to get his attention and then he's going to make sure that the flying boulder doesn't get in your way and then you can scan and then you can go this way this is going to open up the alternate route which i know is required for at least the winter course and possibly some also some other stuff after leaving, did the game just freeze? Did my switch just freeze? It just crashed. So after you leave the seasonal area, you're gonna come to this strip of land that has a whole bunch of these crystal blooms. Again, you do need to be on level three for this. And you wanna light up this crystal bloom, and then you're gonna see a little deerling spawn. And he's going to be like, whoa, look at that crystal bloom. It's so awesome. Yeah, it is. And then you want to light up the second one. And then he's going to come on over again. Great. He's coming on over. Uh, this is also used for a request and a four star photo. So I might as well include that with this little bit. Anyways, onto this third bit. Do not hit the front crystal bloom. Hit the back crystal bloom. If you hit the front crystal bloom, you're going to mess everything up. 
Okay, you want to hit that back one. I guess we're now doing the deerling quest, a lost little deerling. But good, he made his way to the back one. And now we're going to forward a little bit more, a little bit more. And we're going to look over here. And then we're going to boom. This last crystal bloom. And that's going to show up Espeon. And Deerling is going to take a sweet, precious time approaching. There we go. There's Deerling. Deerling, super happy right now, dog. And now, the summer form Saw's Buck is somewhere. Oh, there he is. And it's going to be like, oh, there's my daddy. And he's going to be so happy. Make sure you get a picture of Deerling during that super happy pose. And now they're going to be running off. When this Deerling is super duper excited and is reunited with his father, that is a four star photo and completion of the quest Lost Little Deerling. Super happy Saw's Buck. Super happy Deerling. And now this is going to open up the path to the right. So as you approach it, if you hit the scan button, you're now going to be able to go this way. And I think this is called the sunny area, but this is the fourth area. And I'm generally going to be referring to this as the four alternate area. You have one, two, three, four. Two is a different season and four has this alternate route. Great. In our first area, we can get the four star photos of Trevenant and Esper, as well as both of their quests. So. We're gonna spawn in, we're gonna get rid of these shift trees because they take way too long. It's pretty simple. It does need a little bit of a little bit of luck for a good photo, okay? So if you look ahead, you're gonna see this Esper flying over and he's gonna land. As soon as he lands, start intermittently hitting the scan button. And you're not gonna wait for that scan. Instead, you're gonna wait for him to acknowledge the scan. He's gonna do a little what? That's the what, good. Now he's gonna float down. You see the Trevenant right there? You're gonna lead the Esper to the Trevenant. And of course you can do that with the Apple Trail because they're hungry for apples. Both of them are very slow. We're gonna orb the Trevenant. We're gonna orb the Esper. As long as the Esper is near Trevenant and they're both orbed, Trevenant's gonna put his hand down. Esper, Esper, yes. He's gonna float on top of the hand and there we go. That is a four star Esper photo. This is a four star Trevenant photo. It is an adorable photo at that. I kind of want to wait until he's like super duper all of the frame. So for Esper, anytime that it's on the hand, that's a four star photo. For Trevenant, anytime that it, it has Esper on its hand, that is a four star photo as well. And if you get a photo of both of them, but focusing on Trevenant, that's going to be completion of Trevenant's quest, Sylvan's Sentinel Secret Side. Is this going to be a better photo? Yes, because we're more center and we have more of Trevenant in the photo. This is probably better, even though he's not facing me at all. But oh, dude, that's a cool photo because you get that full ominous Trevenant look. Oh, yeah, much better. Esper, slightly better. <laughs> 140 points for direction. Thanks. For Esper's quest, it's called an Airborne Boulder. And that has to do with the same Trevenant <laughs> and the same path that I already showed you. So. We haven't moved on much since this beginning area. Anyways, we're gonna fast forward just a little bit. We're gonna play a song. Trevenant's gonna be like, hey, I like that song. I'm gonna open up this path for you." Thanks, Trevenant. We're gonna scan, we're gonna take the path. And now the giant floating boulder that you've seen since the first time you played this course, you can now finally do something about it. And by do something, I mean find the people responsible. OMG, it's these three Esper over here. Get a nice zoomed in photo right here for a nice quality photo. But to complete the quest, you have to have a photo of all three Esper and the rock. This photo needs to have three Esper, you're probably gonna have a Trevenant, and Dwayne Johnson. Then and only then is the photo complete. Anytime that Esper is doing its crazy super psychic powers, that's a three star photo. But as I mentioned, you need a photo like this to complete the quest. So I wanna continue with all of the additional photos and requests that do not require you to be in a specific season okay that second area that has the different seasons we're not going to do those yet instead i'm just going to make my way to the fourth area that's going to always be the same or the fourth alternate area that i already showed you all how to unlock and we're going to go from there okay in the fourth area here we are not going to be covering celebi because i already covered celebi in the legendary slash mythical video we do need to come back here for Beware, but if we do the Beware quest, we really can't do anything else. First of all, these are pictures of Applin, if you didn't know. It's hard to interact with these ones. There are easier ones to interact with. Like this little guy over here. I think you have to boop him. Scan. 
Oh, it was the scan button. Scan makes him show up. Anyways, if you look straight ahead, you're gonna see this Bulbasaur. You're gonna orb him, and you're gonna see this Lotad. You're gonna orb him. This is going to be for a three-star photo, but completion of weird crossing for, Bul 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 for Bulbasaur. There we go. Keep these two orbed, okay? Lotad is then going to approach Bulbasaur. Keep them orbed. Keep the, oh, there we go, got it. Bulbasaur is gonna hop on top of Lotad, and Lotad's gonna start swimming around. It is adorable. I know. He's gonna come around. Yes, face me, face me. Oh, work of art. Bulbasaur, when it is on top of Lotad, as I mentioned, that is a three-star photo and completion of the quest, a Weird Crossing, the four-star photo we're gonna cover shortly. Oh, it is a better Bulbasaur photo. That's what I thought. Is it because the other Pokemon? Yeah, 559 points, golly. Another four-star photo in quest that we can get here is going to be for Superior. Superior, whatever it's called. You're gonna see that tail of Superior over there. You're gonna orb the tail. Did we get it? Sometimes you get it early and you're lucky, but if not, you could just get it here. Great. It's gonna come on out. You wanna feed it? It's gonna nom 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 the apple. Hungry for apples? And it's gonna be like, hee! Now we're gonna play a song, and it's gonna go nannies. Good night, Superior. And that is it. I know some of these are like, I make it sound very simple, but finding it was kind of hard. Like the combination of things is not the easiest. Anyways, anytime that it is all coiled up, that is going to be a four star photo at completion of the quest, a moment's rest. The last Pokemon slash quest that we're going to need in this area is going to be for Beware. And this Beware over here, I'm gonna actually fast forward in front of him a little bit. And then you start bothering him. You start booping him with apples, okay? You boop him with apples. And then he's gonna wave his arms in the air like you just don't care. And then he's gonna Naruto run at you. Oh my God, it's a bear attack, so scary. And then he's gonna call for his other bear friends. He's gonna be like, Whoa! And then the other bear are gonna be like, Whoa! And then they're all gonna chase you. You're gonna have a swarm of beware chasing you. I do not know the name for a group of bears. A sleuth. A sleuth of beware are going to chase you. And then, uh, then yeah, you don't die because you teleport away. Simple as that. The beware, anytime that it has its hands up, right there, that is going to be a three-star photo and completion of the quest danger warning. Makes sense, right? But anytime that they are actively Naruto running at you, that is going to be a four-star photo. Try to get them all bunched up like this, but be careful because sometimes your camera is going to aim at the one in the back, not the one in the front. So it could be a little rough to get a good photo of it. As soon as we spawn in, you're going to see a Lotad over here. You're going to want to boop him. He's not going to like that, and he's going to go and hop in the water. Fun fact, there's going to be one Pokemon spawning in based on the season that you visited. So fun stuff. Now we're going to play some music. All three Lotad are going to sink under the water. It does require the third one to be there. You do not need to play it more than once. And when they are underwater, they're going to start stacking up here. And they're going to emerge from the water as one big old stack of Lotads. And then you're going to orbit. And then, yeah, look how freaking happy he is. OMG. Do it again. Yeah, he loves that. Make sure you are focused on the top one during that photo phase. Otherwise, it shall not count. For Lotad, anytime that it is in the stack, that is a four star photo, but you do need to orbit and see it happy for the quest a tad happy. Oh, it's pro it might be better than that one because it's slightly cropped. Also, this photo with just the tiny little bit of the Lotad under it that did constitute for the quest, not as good as the last one. Even though, the, oh wow, the left one, I only lost two points because of it being cropped off. Okay, duly noted. I think the only way it's going to get better is if I pan slightly down and I get the other Pokemon in frame. I don't know, I'm going to have to try that out. For the very last photo, there's actually two. There's Saul's Buck and there's Espeon. In order to do this, you have to go to four alternate, and you had to have done the Deerling quest at least once to access four alternate, okay? You do not need to do the Deerling quest on the way to the Sawsbuck quest, which honestly would make so much sense if you did, but then again, this forest breaks all rules of time because, you know, Celebi stuff. As long as you did the quest once, for the deerling, you have access to this path, and if you have access to this path, then you're going to be fine. Right now, we're going to be getting the Espeon picture and quest. It's called A Calming Air, and this is when you're going to be allowed to feed Espeon. 
It does not matter what season you went to, you do not have to have a Gardevoir here or anything else. There's a Ninetales up there. Never realized that if you take the winter route. That's neat. But, most importantly, there is an Espeon, and we're gonna feed it. Hungry for apples? Oh, uh, we need to scan. Scan makes Espeon come down. That's it. It's gonna come down. Hungry for apples? Please get the photo. Please get the photo. It's behind the tree. Are you serious? I got a little bit of its foot while it was eating, so that counts, kind of. It's gonna hop up here, and when it hops up here, you're gonna want to orbit, okay? It's gonna sit down, it's gonna lick itself, keep orbing it, because you want that first opportunity for it to run down. When it runs down, it's going to go and it's going to get the last saws buck that you need. You also need to hit this crystal bloom. So Espeon is gonna go and it's gonna get saws buck from over there, and the crystal bloom is gonna get saws buck from over here. Now, we're gonna throw a whole bunch of apples in the middle. Everyone is hungry for apples. There's eight Pokemon here, they are all hungry for apples. You need to feed them all the apples, okay? Just keep assaulting all of them with apples. That's all you have to do. So the trick here is you're going to need to get all four saws buck in frame. Hey, you, you, over here, over here, we're doing a thing, okay? Come on. All four saws buck in frame, like right now, you're gonna play a song, and they're gonna howl. You need to focus on one while it is howling, like there, and all four of them need to be in frame. That is the photo and the four star photo. This Espeon, I did not get it eating. I'm not gonna redo this. You just need to do the same thing I did. Just make sure you hit the scan button earlier than I did and you can get that Espeon eating photo. And that's going to be your four star photo and your completion of the quest, A Calming Air. For the Souls Buck, anytime that they are together, they are, uh, what is a group of deer? A group of deer is called a herd, a bunch, a mob, a parcel, or a wrangle. I like mob. Whenever there's this mob of saws buck over here, this is a four star photo. You do need to have a photo of all of them howling up for completion of the quest, a seasonal gathering, but for a good photo, you do not need them howling. Like this, I think it was at the end of a howling because you see that winter one still howling. I'm not really too sure, but anyways, yeah, that's, that's what you gotta do. It was pretty close. Why was it so, we're getting 800 points for other Pokemon. That's why this photo is so good. Okay. Now there are eight photos and requests that require you to be in specific seasons. One for fall, two for spring, three for summer, two for winter. And you're essentially always going to get a random path if you go straight after you unlocked all four seasons, right? But you can influence which path you go to. I wanna do the summer paths, so I hit Espeon with a Lumina Orb and we are going to be going straight. In this area, there's there's a whole bunch of Pokemon here, but honestly, none of these are gonna give you good reactions or anything else. They're just kind of all hanging out, right? But toward the end of the course, you're gonna see this Drampo over here. Throw one orb at him. That's it. That's all you wanna do. And he's gonna be like, whoa, that, that's a cool orb. Thanks, Drampa. So now we're gonna be in the fourth area, and as long as you've already done the Deerling quest once, you're gonna get access to the fourth alternate area. As soon as you spawn into alternate route four, if you look ahead, you're gonna see a Drampa fly, right? Let's wait for it. Make sure you get a photo of Drampa, make sure you get a photo of Pancham, and make sure you get a photo of Bulbasaur. I don't think I got the Bulbasaur photo. Can I turbo and, and reach reach Drampa? Oh, 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 oh. Focus on Bulbasaur, focus on Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Yes, <laughs> that horrible photo of Bulbasaur being on Drampa, I think is going to count for a four star Bulbasaur. Okay, now for the Drampa four-star photo and quest, which is called Angry Drampa, all you need to do is boop it several times, and then it's gonna get mad. There we go. You want that face. And we're done here. For Drampa, anytime that it is flying with Pokemon on its back, that is a four-star photo, but you do need to submit this in particular shot in order to complete the quest Angry Drampa which is also a four star photo. For Pancham, anytime that it is riding on Drampa, that is a four star photo. If you get this photo of Pancham being on top of Drampa's head, that is going to be completion of your quest, a pair of chums. My good chum. Bulbasaur, anytime that it is riding on Drampa, like this picture right here, if you look at the very bottom left, <laughs> 
That is a four-star photo. If you get it much earlier, you get a shot like that. So there you go. Drampa, four-star photo. Not as good as my last one. Apparently him flying is a much better photo. Yeah, that's that's not a that's not a quest. That's just a four star photo. Now, if we look over here, this is actually going to be a four star photo. So you're going to be seeing a male and female unfezant. You want to boop it and then the male unfezant is going to get very mad. You do need a photo of both of them being mad, but, but specifically the female standing up exposing the eggs. This unfezant, anytime that the female is standing up and showing its egg, that is going to be a four star photo and completion of the quest egg patrol. This might actually be a much better photo than my last one. Oh yeah, that's a slightly better Unfezant. All right, so now I want to knock out all of the Pokemon that require Spring. And in order for that, you're going to feed Espeon. It's important, do not boop Espeon, just feed it. It will sense the apple and then it will bring you to Spring. Simple as that. If you boop it, then it just runs away and then you get the regular random stuff again. As soon as you show up in spring, you wanna to look to the right and scan in a tree and you're gonna find shift tree over here. You wanna orb him, sorry, boop him. Yes, boop him, now look straight and focus on this tree over here and start throwing orbs at this branch. Shift tree is gonna show up, did I get it in time? Yes, I did get it in time. It's going to run up the tree. Now you're gonna see this crystal bloom Hit the crystal bloom and now take photos of shift tree doing this move in the tree. Getting that move on the ground is a four star photo. Getting the same move in the tree is a four star photo, but only if it's in the tree is that going to be completion of the quest gust with gusto. For the shift tree, like I said, anytime that it's on the ground, that's a four star photo. Anytime it's in the tree doing the same attack, that is a four star photo. <laughs> You need to submit this photo of him in the tree doing the attack for a completion of the quest Gust with Gusto. Hopefully yours looks better. Great, now we're gonna turn around completely and you're gonna find a Kecleon right there. Take a photo of it sleeping upside down in the tree. You may wanna do this on two subsequent runs because if you do it on the same run, you don't get a good photo like me. I did not get a good photo. That's not its four star photo, but that is completion of the quest upside down hide and seek. However, immediately after that Kecleon, making our way to the third area, if we look to the left, we can find a sleeping Kecleon right there. That is a four star photo of Kecleon. Done, easy. Anytime that Kecleon is sleeping right there, that is going to be a four star photo of Kecleon. But anytime that it is hanging upside down in the tree, that is going to be, anytime that it is hanging upside down in the tree, that is going to be a three star photo and completion of the quest upside down hide and seek. I got a better sleeping Kecleon by one point. Nice. Psychest time that's ever happened to me. You guys saw the first time. We only have one four star photo and quest in the fall area. And in order to access the fall area, we're going to play a song for Trevenant. We're gonna take the alternate route. Shift tree, okay, great. And now it's gonna open up the alternate path and Espeon is gonna come running in front of us. Good job, Espeon. Now you do need to feed it an apple. Two notes, one, do not boop it. Two, do not throw it in the path of the cart. Also three, don't take a photo of it. Otherwise that'll, that's gonna mess it up. It has to acknowledge the apple and then it has to run this way. And then you're going to be guaranteed the autumn path. Great, autumn souls buck is here. Now there's only one Pokemon and photo that we're gonna get and that is Applin, four star and heart of a dragon. You don't need to do anything, anything at all. This deerling over here is going to approach this Applin all on its own. Deerling is gonna be like, whoa, look at that apple. No? Huh, I have had this deerling spawn in in some locations and just wander to this applin very, very early. And then in other situations, I've had to lure it over. So yeah, if it, there's a chance that it can run over here by itself and then you're gonna get a fantastic photo. If not, you have to lure it over. So let's retry and lure it over. Saw's bucket out of my way. Deerling is gonna acknowledge the apples. Hungry for apples? Sawsbug, do not eat these apples. Deerling, do you now see the applin? Yes, and then that that angry thing that applin does, that is going to be your four-star photo of applin. Ugh, get one of it rolling away too. Great. 
Applin, anytime that it is actively hissing, growling, doing its attack animation at the deerling, that is going to be a four-star photo and completion of the quest, Heart of a Dragon. If you manage to snag the photo of it rolling away, that is going to be a three-star photo. The last season that we are going to be addressing, because there are four seasons, that is the way the earth works, is going to be winter. And you're going to be seeing this Trevenant over here. We're going to play a song, and he's going to be like, whoa, come on over this way, guy. Yeah. And much easier than the fluff fruit for Espeon, you just need to orbit once. Again, do not take pictures of Espeon. Yeah, yeah, follow me. Sure, buddy. From my experience, you cannot do both of these photos at the same time. So this is going to be for Gardevoir and for Ninetales. For Gardevoir, you're going to want to just constantly orbit, okay? Because you need to orbit right before it teleports and it's easier to just constantly orbit. There's also a Gardevoir to the left. You don't want that one, you want this one. And the whole thing is it's it's running around and it's showing these dealing fun things, right? It's now going to appear over here. This is the pinnacle changing point, okay? I wanna explain it. If you orb this Gardevoir right here, it's then going to disappear to the left for the four star photo. If you do not orb this Gardevoir, just gonna disappear and the deerling remain there, which is required for the nine tails. So this is the point in which the two actions are going to split. So we're gonna orb it once again. It's gonna throw some snow in the air. Whoa, look at the snow, it's so cool, yeah. And then Gardevoir is going to whoop, and it's gone. It's gonna appear over here. Fantastic. You wanna orbit again. I guess you could hit the crystal bloom. One of these two things. And now Gardevoir is gonna do this crazy snow magic. Yeah, confirmed. Uh, Alolan Gardevoir, it's part ice type. Neato. For this Gardevoir, anytime that it is conjuring snow and doing this crazy snow stuff, that is going to be its four star photo and completion of its quest, Winter Wonders. Also pretty much all the time while it's over here by the tree, you can get one through four star poses. I'm pretty sure you do need to have the snow actually appearing for the quest, not just, you know, its hands being all woovily woovily. Ooh, that was a diamond photo, nice. So remember when I said that this is going to be the different moment? Yeah, just don't interact with the Guard of War whatsoever. You're gonna have this Cantonian Ninetales up here. Ironic because they chose the fire type Ninetales to be here in the ice stage. Meanwhile, Alolan Ninetales is going to be an ice type. These dealing, you cannot interact with them yet, but then they're going to do a small runaway animation. After the runaway animation, they can be interacted with. You're just gonna wanna boop one. Ninetales is not gonna like that. No, it's not. And then it's gonna, whoa, hop on down here. When it hops on down, it's gonna get in position. You're gonna boop that nine tails. And then you're gonna want a photo of all of it and it's gonna be doing, I don't know, nasty plot, shadow ball, curse, will-o'-wisp, one of those things. For nine tails, anytime that it is in the middle of this nasty plot, will-o'-wisp, whatever move it may actually be doing, I'm not really too sure. That is going to be a four star photo and completion of the quest flickering flames. I recorded and edited the entire video and then realized that I never did a uh, Milotic at the Illuminous spot. So great, let's go do that. This is a very simple explanation, very difficult execution. As you know, in order to do the Milotic, all you need to do is boop it with an apple. Aim right, great. After it is booped, it's going to stick its head out of the water. Fantastic, make sure you hit it three times, three aluminum orbs. It's gonna hop out of the water. It's going to swim around a few times and then it is going to jump over that. There is the jump. Fantastic, now we have to wait until we see it swim back to us. We need to boop it once again. Try to get it as soon as possible, there we go. And then once again, it's going to stick its head out of the water. You need to hit it with three aluminum orbs. It will once again sing when you hit it with its third orb. And then, from what I've noticed, it likes to go over there and hang out with Trevenant. Milotic is then going to once again hop back into the water, and you need to once again boop it. I think I did boop it, yes. And now we have to hit it with three orbs once again. This is the final time. Maybe we only have to hit it with one orb. We're waiting for this sort of pixely thing that it's doing, that the, you start seeing these sort of digital dragon tails coming off of it. Now we're waiting for an exact moment. Make sure you turn on burst mode here, okay? 
And this is going to be not an easy thing to do. Probably going to take you a few times to sort of line up this shot. Milotic is going to swim around. I recommend keeping our camera panned kind of high. And it's going to do an animation. I believe it's coming up right now. Yes. You're going to aim directly above it and start throwing orbs. It's then going to hop in the air. You need to hit it with an orb. If you successfully hit it with an orb, it's going to do that big crazy burst in the air. And that big crazy burst is your four star photo and completion of the quest, Milotic's Mighty Leap. When it's in the air and it's doing that crazy boom burst, four star photo, Mighty Leap. You know what? I wonder if this slightly zoomed out one would be better. Nope. Nowhere close. It's all about the size, kiddos. Well, there we go. That is all of the Pokemon in the forest that you possibly need. It's very cold when I edit, so I have these cute little gloves on. <laughs> uh, we only have three areas left, and then we're done. Great. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. It actually really does help out, and I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.